Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Z32 workshop. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's uh, watching this series and tuning in to uh, me dismantling my 1993 Nissan 300ZX convertible. Uh, I'm your host and uh, the guy who's tearing apart the stuff, uh, Z James. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, last time we got the fuel pump out, which I still haven't drained the tank yet. Uh, I'm still working on that. I had some other stuff going on this weekend that I just couldn't get around to. Maybe I'll show you guys footage of that when I get a chance. Uh, but we're now going to take out the um, <clears throat> we're going to take out the brake pedal and brake booster and brake. Um, yeah, just take out the brakes. So let me show you where I'm at, and we'll take a look at it here. Let me see if you guys can follow around. I got a new camera here, so let's give this a whirl. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Basically, we've got this. Um, this should be... <coughs> Here's the booster. Mm, let's see if we can get some light for you guys. Well, where did I put my light? Mm, here it is. go do this all right some light you got two bolts there one two that hold on this we'll have to get rid of the throttle cable which is a bolt two bolts right here let's see if we can show you a little better two bolts right there um and then on the inside, there appears to be, I got four nuts for sure, two on each side, and then I'm assuming there's one on the bottom there. So let me just get paused and get set up and we'll give this a try. All right. Uh, 12 millimeter. Deep well. Uh, sorry about the crooked noises, guys. It's just me and them in the mornings. You got one there. Oh, I should. You know what? Let me show you guys this. Hang on. Before we do that, we're going to take out this guy right here. Because that connects the booster to the pedal. So it goes all the way through it. So well, I'm gonna disconnect that, just a pair of needle nose pliers or a screwdriver like I'm gonna do right now to get that keeper out. And then once we do that, we can disconnect, push that through. And then I'll get that through and then we'll build it. So let me do that real fast. All right. Let's see you guys here. If you see this, this is the um, cotter pin. That's what that's called. And the pivot that goes through. Now I'm showing you this because you see these plastic tip on it. It flares out. You have to compress them in to get that out. They're a nice safety feature because if this cutter pin comes loose, it still doesn't allow the pin to come out, so you would lose your brake pedal. Because now, if you see this, this is completely independent. You'd actually lose your brake pedal if you did that. These, there's only a couple bucks, but they're, they're a nice little setup to hang on to. Um, but I'm just showing you how that comes apart. And then we're going to take those out. And I didn't tell, show it to you before, but there's another one right there. So these four plus that, so there's one, two, three, four, and then there's a bolt right there. So let me get these out and we'll take, get this going. Hope you guys see pretty well there. That one's loose, that one's loose. Oh, that one's gonna be a pain. Oh, that 
bad. All I'm using is another extension just to get out away from things. That's one nut. These are all 12 millimeters. That's an actual bolt. should be out. Yep. All right, there we go. That is the brake pedal. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, it's got two sensors on it. They're really just plungers for activation stuff. The one is for the lights, I'm not sure which one. And one is for the cruise control. So when you tap the brake like you do, that will um, turn on your brake lights and shut off your cruise control so it's not fighting you. That's what this hole looks like left. Um, as you can see from the booster all the way through. Let's go look at the one up front. We got the brake reservoir. That's still connected, which is right here and here, but this is all loose now. Um, I'm gonna take this off just to show you. And then I'm gonna get this out of the way. So let me definitely put you on stop right now and get you a better setup. All right, everybody. Don't mind me. You gotta remove these two to get the uh, brake cable. Well, actually, the cable out of the way. Theoretically, you don't need to remove them, actually. You can just. There we go. Pop off. That way. That's the, uh, not brake cable, that's the accelerator cable. Next up though, we need to break these lines. Realistically, I should have done this stuff while the brake pedal was still attached. Uh, I would use a line wrench, uh, so it's open like that. It's for doing brake lines, any type of pipe work. 10 millimeter. Oh yeah, definitely should have left that stuff on. But, live and learn, which is all what this is about. Uh, it's brake line there. And this is a brake line. There we go. Come on. That's the brake line off. Next up, you got two uh, nuts here. 
I'm guessing they're 12 millimeter. They are. I'm actually gonna get a wrench, a socket, really can't get in there. So let me get my 12 millimeter wrench. We'll get that done. Uh, I like these ratcheting ones if you don't have them. They're really nice to get into stuff, make things so you can take it apart. The reason this didn't leak any fluid realistically is because it's all been drained because of the. Um... Let's grab this guy. This is the master cylinder for the brake pedal, which has a reservoir. Now watch, as we get through this, this should pull right on out. This isn't much to it on this side, because the brake booster here does this. Ooh, I'll have to clean this up. I don't know if this is worth a lot or, uh, or little. That's that removed. Since the panel on the inside has been out, we should be able to do this. And here's the booster. Not a lot of room to work in here. Even more so when the car's together. That's the brake booster. Let me get you guys over here and we'll take a quick peek at that. Alright, follow me everybody, we'll give this a whirl. So I hope everyone's enjoying the new camera. Um, as you can see, hopefully you can see, um, I don't know if this is corrosion or not, we'll have to clean it up. This is your vacuum supply, there's a big diaphragm in this, so when you hit the brakes it gives you more power. Power brakes are wonderful modern invention. And that's the plunger on the other side. So let's do this. Those are your three components from the brake pedal. You got your pedal itself, you got your booster, and you got your master cylinder. All this stuff, those lines that we took off of this, feed into that ABS pump we took off last time to do it. So that's going to do today's episodes, everybody. Nice, hopefully a short and sweet one for you. Let me get done and we'll flip you around. All right, everyone. That'll do it for today's episode or stuff. I don't know if I got that camera centered on me, but or not. Um, we are did the uh, brake pedal, brake booster, and then the slay uh, master cylinder. And then all that stuff feeds onto the brake lines that goes back to the ABS pump. So that's how you have ABS. Uh, I think there was some confusion last time with the ABS. Uh, when I said people take the pump out and put a block in, I meant they put in a distribution block, not a block that does um, the blocks off. So when you hit the pedal, it just automatically feeds pressure to the all corners. Equally, no proportioning, but more there's no ABS going on, which means you're less weight if you're a track car. And you get better brake feel because a car isn't going to try to overthink you because of a wheel spin. Uh, that's a track car. I wouldn't recommend that on the street by any means. ABS saves your life. Uh, that's something I would like. To, I would stick in if you're a street car. If you're a dedicated track car, totally up to you. That is uh, your choice when to get the car or not. So uh, on that's today's episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to do the uh, gas pedal, which shouldn't take very long. Should be a real short episode too there. So... Once again, I'd like to thank everyone who's uh, watching and subscribing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments. I'm usually pretty active in that uh, for anyone who wants any questions. So 
But if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Anything you guys do helps me out eventually. So it's great, and I will see you all later on the Project Z32 parts car.